everybody, every each church has their own culture. There are, there are churches where they dance. That is what God gave to the pastor. If he doesn't dance, they are nothing will not come. Have you discovered that David was different from Samuel? Have you heard where they say Samuel was organizing uh, uh, singing concerts? <laughs> and he was a prophet whose words never fell to the ground. He was established as a prophet from Dan to Beersheba. Fearsome. If he says anything, it comes to pass. But when God raised David, his own is dancing. Dancing. If he says anything when he's dancing, he's going to come to pass on that person. Through dancing and singing, he prophesied accurately about Jesus through sound. Have you discovered that David is different from Jeremiah? Jeremiah is a weeping prophet. As a matter of fact, there's a book written by Jeremiah called his Lamentation of Jeremiah. That lament Lamentation means he's crying. Hey. Have you discovered that Jeremiah is different from Isaiah? Who was Jesus' prophetic prophet? He analyzed everything about Jesus into details. Have you discovered that that one is different from Micaiah? Some of them, they will, they, will, they, will, they will put asses on their head. They will call themselves with names. They will cry, oh, there's nothing they don't. Have you discovered that Elijah was different from Elisha? Elijah was against everybody, fighting them and causing fire. Elisha was a friend to many people, including kings and noble people. He's different dimensions of God. God has different dimensions. And he has not put it in just one person. So you can't compare me to Jeriese. We don't have the same ministry. You can't compare me to Olukoya. We don't have the same ministry. We, you can't compare me to Krefro Dollar. I wanted to be Krefro Dollar. It didn't happen. As a matter of fact, the first day I met Bishop Oyedepo, I told myself, I said, let me die and enter into his stomach. Because I was in the Bible school with him that time. So that he can use me as part of his destiny. I just love him. Then when I moved from him to Ileife, because I finished my Bible school, I wanted to be preaching like him. It didn't happen. I don't just know. When I now met Pastor Chris Oyakilome, I said, oh, Jesus. I said, He's so neat, but now I'm not fair. <laughs> and I'm not as fine as him. And I can't even tweak my intonation. See, I've been here for about 17 years and I'm still talking like a Nigerian. Pastor Chris has not left anywhere he's in Nigeria. I say, hallelujah. He talks like, <laughs> I can do it. The people God sent me to are not the people God sent him to. You can't compare. The Bible says those who compare to themselves, themselves are foolish. Sometimes my wife will stand up here to preach. And I'll be telling myself, why can't you preach like this, David? The way he's slowly bringing the word of God and just talking it, and one by one, I said, and I asked myself, where is this guy getting this revelation? He's the mayor of God to him. And then I will now say, okay, I'll be feeling somehow. But I stand up. I say, let me say one or two things before we close. I just discover my thing comes on me. And even, see, I said, we'll be looking where's he? I say, Femi, where do you get all this? I say, it's my thing. <laughs> when it comes on me, it comes on me.